Let's go. Yeah. You can always catch me in a new tank. Top down system of two chains. All about the cream like this Wu Tang. We just want a ball like it's 2K. You can always catch me in a new tank. Top down system of two chains. All about the cream like this Wu Tang. We just want a ball like it's 2K. We just want a ball. Like it's 2K. We just want a ball. Like it's 2 I'm really down for this council is not a cop slogan. Like, I don't even made this, but I'm like really hip for it right now. Um, well, today is our, um, we're part of our National Week of Action um, from Dignities in Schools campaign. It is our Counselors Not Cops um, event, which means we are helping educate parents, family members, and youth on um, the benefits of having more counselors in schools as opposed to SROs or, or school resource officers. Well, why do I think it's important? Well, because we're criminalizing our youth. Um, and what we know from um, what goes on in our public school systems is not only are we criminalizing our youth, but particularly we are criminalizing our, our youth of color, um, our youth of people who um, end up with disabilities, um, uh, we're criminalizing youth from lower incomes. Um, so all of the, having police officers in school disproportionately impacts, you know, certain groups of students. And so what we're trying to do is to create an equitable, um, you know, educational institution where everybody can go and not be afraid to end up in the school to prison pipeline. Let's go. Yeah. You can always catch me in a new tank. Top down system of two chains. All about the cream like this Wu Tang. We just want a ball like it's 2K. You can always catch me in a new tank. Top down system of two chains. All about the cream like this Wu Tang. We just want a ball like it's 2K. We just want a ball like it's 2K. We just want a ball like it's 2 when I was 11, my mother called the police on me. I had pushed and, can, pushed and kicked, kicked against her arms as she held me, crying for help for a savior. That savior came, knocking on the door, the sound of, of a dog barking and blood rushing in my ears, imprinted in my mind. They failed to see my mother's drunkenness, and they blamed me. I see them in the halls menacing navy blue, hazy visions of my black and blue past, I can speak English, of bare feet running through a rain-soaked forest, of trembling fingers, silver tears, and the smell of white wine. My heart pangs as I pass. I feel my palms start to sweat. I stutter, trip into my own mind. Memories of the future bubble up and surface, and I am running, running through the dark to an uncertain refuge. I long for clover and sunlight, but all I see are dogs. Love you, even if we're not friends, close friends, family. Just know I, I love you and I support you. Whatever y'all choose to do, just be y'all. If y'all happy, I'm happy, okay? All right. Yeah. Whatever you do, it's amazing because it's you. Dark thoughts won't cover your light. You're human to acknowledge the message I bring to you. Just be you and the love might shine through. Even though I'm not near, I'm here for you. I love you. I had a conversation with someone who visited my high school the hoop years ago, and he was shocked that we had metal detectors. They didn't have those where he came from. I laughed, and I told him it was normal in Richmond. So it's the amount of police cars that circle schools like prison bars. Their roles are protectors, and the metal detectors are some reflectors of the risks that the youth face. School is supposed to be a safe place. The education system can be like a parent. It's a parent that it helps them learn how to turn a new leaf, whether it's, whether it's for the better or to smoke in the bathroom stalls. Teach them how to paint on the walls to reflect the sense of unity in the community and continuity and get in higher education. Yet, when Richmond Public Schools have a 75% graduation rate, it's hard to see that correlation. So there's always a loose quarter rolling around for change. I'm not talking about asking for $20. I'm talking someone looking for something spiritual. The solution is far from empirical. It's bigger than what goes on in the classrooms. Thing crying in the bedroom, streets full of gloom. Friends meet in premature doom in the former murder capital. They're learning how to shoot before they learn how to build capital. They're learning about blood money before scholarships. 
They learn about conviction as the process of how someone gets locked up before knowing that conviction is defined as having a strong belief. I believe that the youth needs more relief. Some mentors, like an angel on their shoulder, to teach composure and how to get closer to success. The counselors can aid their psychology by providing by proving that regardless of their biology, they can thrive in the sociology where the ecology contains traps to send the kids to prison or to close the lid on a coffin. They can live and open up about their emotions regardless of stereotypical notions that they should bottle it up, that no one cares about their feelings. Yet, revealing weakness can build strength. In a time where everything is under a microscope, thanks to social media, we can find cures for the situation, create places to have safe spaces that's open to all faces, mm -hmm. where all different types of cards living on the luck of a draw, yet we can create our own fortune, investing in our health, owning our own portions. We can't always protect the youth, but we can teach them the truth and give them the tools to thrive outside of school by teaching them how to be more aware. That's it. Thank you for your advice, whether I've been mean or nice. You supported me through and through, and it's all thanks to you that I'm here where I'm, where I'm at today, and all I got to say is you may have cuffs, but you are nice with some stuff. You got me from day one, now I'm hearing you aren't done. You may be a cop, but you are still at the top. You support me who we are, and you are a star. Absolutely. So for us, the biggest um, part of this process is creating, you know, creating spaces for youth to come together and not just come together, but for them to to expand on their leadership skills and kind of to take their own. Right. So we help support students in their schools, create their own student groups. Um, we help do educational events, both for parents and family members, for community members. And then we have youth summits. So gathering, you know, youth across the region together to build these networks is just so important, especially because we have such a strong passion for social justice with our younger generations that um, you know all I've seen is just you know youth that have inspired and impassioned me to just keep going because I, I know that they are going to make some amazing changes. <laughs>